Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Windows Server IoT and SQL Server IoT, the roadmaps. So it's been a while since I've given a roadmap update, and in this video, we're going to cover the server and SQL products. Let's jump into it. All right, let's get started. Uh, Windows Server and SQL IoT roadmaps. Let's start with the Windows Server products, the Windows Server IoT products, and what you have. Not a lot has changed recently. These products have um, 10 years of life and 10 years of support. So, and the older products had 15 years of life. So, you'll see, and that confuses folks. Uh, so, if we start at the top of the chart with Server 2008, 2008 R2. Um, that product ended support back in 2020, but it's still available to purchase and resell as an IoT OEM. So if you still wanted to sell server 2008 or 2008 R2, you can buy that from Arrow, actually get a server 2008 COA sticker with a server 2008 product key, but there won't be any security patches. Although there are extended security updates available. So if you are interested in learning more about extended security that goes past the, the 10 year base, we do have options for these products. Um, in fact, all of these, in fact, SQL, we'll, we'll get to SQL in a bit, but there are some extended security updates that just became available for SQL 2012. We'll talk about that. Back to Windows Server, 2008 good till 2023. Um, and then Server 2012 and 2012 R2. That is approaching end of support, and then the end of life is way out there, 2027. So, um, and then Server 2016, the last of the products to get 15 years of life, but it's really strange to see that the life of Server 2016 is longer than 2019, and that's because back at the older products, Microsoft was giving them 15 years of life. They still got 10 years of support, 15 years of life. And that's not uncommon for an OEM to keep shipping a device past the support just to give them a transition period so they can start migrating to um, a newer product and you know, move on up to 2019. If you're still on those older 2016 and older products, get to 2019 or to the, the brand new 2022. Um, and with 2019, you're gonna be good until the year 2029 for both life and support. And then my head is sort of blocking the uh, the brand new Server IoT 2022 product, but that's going to get you out to 2031, and the full chart there is on on uh, my right here. So that takes care of the Windows Server IoT products. Lots of life, lots of support left with many of these products. Let's look at the SQL. Let's go all the way back to SQL 2008 because believe it or not, that product is still has life. So although support has ended, and we do have extended security options available, you can still buy and ship that product until 2023. Keep in mind with the embedded IoT channel, when a product goes end of life, it cannot be sold or shipped anymore. So anybody who's on 2008 or 2008 R2, you really need to be getting off of that product um, because you, you have, what, a year and a half or so to go here, or one year. You basically have one year uh, till July of 2023. So then you have your SQL 2012, and the 2012 product is approaching end of support. Or actually, it just did. It just passed. July 12th, 2022, no longer has support. So I need to scoot that bar over just a little bit, and you'll see that uh, that product does not have support. There are extended security updates available. So if you do need to extend SQL 2012 security patches, get with us, we have an option. We can quote you some pricing on that. The product is available till 2027. So plenty of life left in that product, just not supported, just ended. Um, then you have SQL 2014. It goes into support in 2024, life in 2028. Then your SQL 2016 and 2017 has plenty of support and life left. And then the current product is SQL IoT 2019. It did not get that long 15 years of life. So it has a shorter life than the 2016 product, which is a little strange, right? So the 2019 has a shorter life. End of life, end of support, both in 2030. 
And then the brand new SQLite 2022. It is out in public preview now, but you cannot purchase it. It has not officially launched. It does not have an official launch date yet. I expect to know that fairly soon. And if so, we can possibly add that date in the video description once it's available. But right now, as of this filming of this video, it is in public preview, but it has not officially launched. And we expect that that product will get 10 years of life. So you're looking at 2032 to 2033 timeframe for that 2022 SQL IoT product. So that's your SQL IoT. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. Mail us at msembeddedarrow.com if you need anything. And we'll take care of you. Thank you guys for watching.